Jacob NG versus Pablo Fugo for the IBF International Lightweight title. Yes, I say lightweight title because these guys are absolutely massive for lightweight. You never get sick of the Flamingo's entrance, do you? Ever? No, he puts on the show and that's why the crowd loves him. But look, I tell you what, there's plenty of go to go with the show, isn't there? In the ring, he's uh, a terrific fighter on the rise, undefeated and... He uh, looks this, they open up early in this contest, but he's a fighter, isn't he? That he's, as his career's progressed, as the bar's been raised, he has jumped at every time. Like one of those fighters you like to see, the, don't you? The tougher the contest, the better they seem to fight. And I think that's a, that's something that fits the bill for the Flamingo. Yeah, well, Jacob is facing his third international opponent in a row tonight as he tries to make a name for himself, obviously, on that international arena. But you can see his opponent tonight, and Pablo, he hasn't come here to make up the numbers. You can see he's got bad intentions. There was plenty of. Uh, uh, emotion at the at the Wayne as well, so he's here to get the W, no doubt about it. And again, he's coming good, Nick. You can see that he's uh, he's well put together, and as you said, lightweight. Wow. Ed Jacob putting his IBF international title on the line tonight. Uh, he captured it last his last bout, obviously with the unanimous points victory over Ricardo Lara back in June this year. That's a it's a very Big prize here up for grabs tonight. He's got the full kit of punches as well, doesn't he, Jakey Benji? And we've seen already in this first round, he's, he's put a lot of them together. And uh, it's only early as he'll progress with the fight, but he's got a nice kick bag of punches. He does. He, he's got every punch in the book. And sometimes he can mix it in close and he can stay long. He can mix it up. So he's got every trick in the book, does the Flamingo, as he starts to open up here. Great start for both boys. This will be Pablo's third fight for the year, so looking to make it three from three. He's obviously he's done the job twice already this year and got the wins. Third fight for 2019, so very active, like the Flamingo this year. Big opportunity for him as well, isn't there, with, uh, with that title that's up for grabs? Definitely, it's a prestigious title. The international, uh, IBF international title is a very prestigious title. It puts you in the world rankings. And it's, uh, it's one that many of the past ch champions have, uh, have held. Nice little right hand there in this round from Jacob NG. Probably the, the most telling punch of the fight so far. That was a good right hand there from the Flamingo. See what I was talking about earlier when I say the way he puts his punches together. He, he's uh, pretty smooth, the Flamingo. Yeah, walked him onto another right hand there, did the Flamingo. Once again, this is the this is a top quality bout. This is the top shelf Absolutely. bout. You can see both boys are world rated, and they're both at the top of their game. Great first round. Good opening round there from the Flamingo in Absolutely, and around Nathan, I think both fighters will go back to the camp with a, with their tail up. They'd be pretty happy with their first three minutes of work. Yeah, I agree. Both boys had their moments, but the Flamingo just a little bit more sharper. Had a better variation of punches, mix it up to the body and head. We like to see that. Let me thank you to our major sponsors here tonight. Ultra Tune, Sean and his team at Toy Box. Jimmy and the guys from Toy Box, our major sponsors here. Night of Terror. See some of these snippets from the previous round. First round that was. Great boxing from both boys on their toes, keeping it sharp, and, and most times keeping it long. But there was a good variation too. When they got close, they didn't they didn't lose the opportunity. They started pounding away to the body as well. That was good that right hand. We saw right at the end of the round there, or right at the end of the, the highlights reel there as we kick off round number two. Great and fast. It started it off again for the Flamingo in G. Nathan, I think the other thing we've learned in the career of Jacob MG is he's got a fair chin on him as well. We've seen we've seen him hit the canvas, we've seen him come back from knockdowns. He's he really again, as I said, for a fighter 
as a fan to watch or uh, he's shown you everything in the, a short professional career to oh, date. He's a total package. I mean, and he's the entertainer, as we saw, and he's in his ring entrance. So that's what people come back to boxing for. So that's why he's got such a big crowd behind him, and especially in his hometown. Oh, they love him here. They love him. They absolutely love him. love him. And why wouldn't you? Look at him. He's a, he's a beautiful character, and he's uh, and he's uh, he's a very nice person outside the ring. Lovely well. guy. Good right hand there from the Flamingo. The exchange there, right on the Ultra Tune sign. Yep, big thanks right. to Sean Buckley, the Ultra Tune boys. And also Jimmy from Toy Box, thank you very much. They're our major sponsors for this evening's fights. Good right hand catching Pablo on the way out there from the Flamingo. Look at these body shots. He knows this is a 10 round contest. They'll stay with him towards the end of the fight. Good right hand once again there from the Flamingo. Oh, he's having oh, fun and he's catched him again. He's caught him with a great shot. Right, right. He enjoys himself in there as well, no matter what he's doing. He enjoys his work. He does, he does. Big looping right hand, just hitting gloves there from Pablo Fugo. Push straight puncher, just missing the mark there from the Flamingo, but he gets a couple there himself, up and under, both hitting the mark. Doubles it up the Flamingo, catching him twice. He's fighting the home there for that right hand, the Flamingo. He's knocked his head back at least three times in the last 20 seconds. Stop. Good round there from the Flamingo MG. It's starting to heat up here, and look at it. Look at the show he's putting on for his hometown. Dominant round there from Jacob the Flamingo MG. International contest here. Jacob MG up against Pablo Fuego. We fight for the IBF International Lightweight title. Cutting down to round number three as we see the highlights reel popping up here with some great action in round number two. There's the first of a number of good right hands landed by the Flamingo. The jab gets through as well. Look at that variation of punches again. That is an up, down. Uh, it's just the way he moves his head, moves his body as well. Yeah, and he catches them at the end of his punch as well, which is the most effective, obviously, because it's generating all that power as well. So he's doing a good job, and obviously, you know, he, he's a tall fighter, so he's using his advantages to the best of his ability. Second set. We're into the third frame. Just see with every fight that Flamingo's fighting, he's improving each fight. He's becoming more of a seasoned fighter. He's adding to his uh, artillery. He's just uh, becoming a more complete fighter, no doubt, James. And these fights against these sort of opponents, uh, the, exactly, I suggest, the stepping stone as he's really stepping on the gas here now. Adlai Fuego smiles, but I tell you what, I don't think he's enjoying it at the moment. He's got a magnet oh. on his head at the moment, and NG is catching him every time with that right hand. And another thing we know with the Flamingo, he's a terrific finisher. He does. Oh, and he's wobbled him there. He's knocked him back to the corner. He's got unsteady legs as the Flamingo marches forward once again. Oh, no knockdown forward there from the referee, but he is unsteady here, Pablo Fugo. See that? Look at the feet. The legs aren't back under him yet. The Flamingo can, uh, can smell blood. He knows this is his opportunity. He wants to make the most of it. If he can, if he can get him out of here, now's the time to do it. 
And look at this relentless punching oh. from the Flamingo. One, two, one, two, uppercuts, left hook, everything. Pablo's about to go here. He's about to go. Oh! One tough sucker, Pablo Fugo. Unbelievable. Unbelievable chin, like you said. Right. How he wore. Particularly that left hook, I think it was. We'll see it at the end of the round. Looking forward to the highlights as he eats another right hand. Oh, and another two good shots there from the Flamingo. He's walking his opponent back every time he steps forward with a punch. hand there from Pablo. Backing his opponent to the ropes now. Keep your punches up. He is one tough sucker, Pablo Fugo. Look at this, he's coming he up with his own a punches. Nice right hand of his own there towards the end of the round. That caught the, the attention of Jacob NG. But there comes the Flamingo <laughs> for a second. <laughs> Does he ever put on a bad show, the Flamingo? He is excitement machine. Good shots to end the round there from the Flamingo. Wow. He's back better than ever. What a round from Jacob the Flamingo NG. Highlights real. Just replay the whole round, please, sir. Here you look at but have a look at some of these punches. It's all the same. There was a thousand shots thrown in that one round. Look at it. Just relentless punches from both boys. The more effective, obviously, NG. But Pablo, he's, he's willing as well. Unbelievable. And that's, that's fitness. That's heart. That's guts. That's everything. This this friend he's come to town. He's, that's, uh, he's shown plenty in that round. Not many would have got through that. No, every time he's at the Southport Sharks, he puts on a performance. So he just does it every time. For his hometown. Look at that left hook. That would have knocked out anyone else in the world, probably. We move into another frame here. Flamingo NG, Pablo Fuego. Two and three good shots here. He needs to start fast again for Flamingo, I think, because he had him on unsteady legs towards the end of the last round. You just got to stay on him, I think. Great body shot. Yeah, good shots there from the Flamingo. Oh, variation once again. Starting low, finishing high. Got to really break the spirit here of Pablo Fugo. Don't let him back into the contest. Pablo Fuego having a few moments here in the fourth round as he looks to stem the flow here, looks to change the momentum of this fight at the moment. It's all Jacob NG. Bunch it there from NG. Yeah. <laughs> part of the fight here for Pablo. He's, uh, he's trying to dictate the pace, trying to walk forward. Doing it, but not much success. He's throwing punches, but they're, they're not really connecting. But he's he's trying all the same. He's throwing plenty of punches, isn't he? With the knuckle part, not the inside. Okay. Box. Pointing on the run there, the Pablo hitting with the inside of the glove, not the knuckle part. Got a mouse under the left eye. Does. Uh, that's Jacob NG. Yeah. Oh, two good shots there, as I thought. Oh, oh big right hand. The Flamingo is finding a home for that right hand again. So here, can he come in for the finish? You can see his uh, corner, his father there, Stephen NG, saying, be smart, be smart. Oh, good shots to the body and the head again from the NG. The Flamingo, what a performance once again. He's a terrific finisher, he's looking to finish the job right here, right now, round four, Southport Sharks. The Flair boys here, the showmanship comes out a bit here as well. Oh, big right hand there. 
from the Flamingo. Right, step back. Right. Box. Changed him up, leading to the body was Pablo there. Good evasion there from the Flamingo though. <clears throat> Really good boxing display here from the Flamingo NG tonight. An all-round performance. Hats off to his trainer and dad, Steve NG. Prepared yeah, they, him very well. They're a great combination, aren't they? They, uh, they, they're, they're a wonderful team to, to watch. Something you know a bit about that father-son sort of relationship with that bond when it comes to sport is something pretty special. These guys have something very, very special to watch. It either works or it doesn't work, uh, James. And this one definitely works. Uh, he respects his dad a lot, and uh, that, that's, that's what you need. You can't, you can't let the family get involved with the sport, so you just sort of you're going to disconnect yourself, pretend you're just he's just a trainer. He's not your dad. As we see some of the highlights here, both. Happy to uh, smoke the sunset at the competition Friday here, but uh, the bloke who had the last laugh without it, yeah, Jacob NG, dominant round for him, a 10-8 round. Take him down! Least. Take him down! Say that round there, so with the knockdown. Very dominant round there from the Flamingo as he uh, piles up the points here. He's well and truly in front. i tell you what, he's, uh, he started with some intent here this round. And, Maybe in his mind, this is the round that he can finish the job. Chops away at that body. Yep. Get into the body, then finish to the head. There was the flamingo. Which is great for his toolbox, because when he gets to the heart of fights later down the track, and hopefully in a world title in years to come, he's got to need those punches. Good shots there from the Flamingo. Right. Box. Plenty of output thrown by Pablo, but just not as much sting as the as the, as the Flamingo NG here. Yeah. Right, and there's a big right hand. I think you're right. There's no doubt, is there, in there? The, where the power lies is without any doubt with the two punches. Is is Jacob NG, the snap, the, the firepower, the artillery that he holds in those gloves is is uh, relentless it's at the, the moment. The volume that he's throwing, he just can't keep up with a Pablo. And it's credit as well to Jacob NG's fitness, isn't it? Like, it's one thing to throw a lot of punches, but that takes a lot of energy as well. As he really steps it up here. Oh, two big shots. He's in trouble, Pablo. What a knockdown. Four. Five. Not only is he throwing a lot of punches, he's connecting with a lot of punches. His percentages are through the roof here tonight, NG. And it's really showing on the face of Pablo Fugo as he looks to go in for the kill. Five, six, seven, eight shots. There he is. Pablo Fugo, he still doesn't know what day it is. That is an incredible performance from Jacob and G tonight. The entertainer, the all-round fighter, he is the Flamingo NG. And now he's enjoying the most fight celebration that comes with it. Unbelievably polished performance there from Jacob NG. A terrific performance. As he shows his sportsmanship there, praying for his opponent's health. As we said, he's a wonderful guy to, to go with it as well. There's, yep. the, there's the persona, there's the showman, there's, uh, there's the action that he produces in the ring. He's relentless. Uh, he is absolutely a, a gentleman that, that anyone that knows him outside the ring would attest to. Now, let's see how he finished the job here on replay. Oh, that That's big right hand. That was good night. From here, it was fairly elementary, that right hand.